Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What's poppin' guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 16 tutorial. It is Monday, it means a brand new video for you guys. And as you can see right now, I have two cameras set up because that's basically because I don't have a green screen yet. It is still in the old house and you guys know how I had to set that up. I had to squeeze it between my dresser and my, you know, my desk. So I don't have that here in the house anymore. So that basically means that I have to uh, order a stand for my green screen, which, which will hopefully come in the mail this week. But for now, I'm gonna just use this multi-cam editing, which looks really, really nice. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to create this amazing, colorful text reveal in Vegas Pro 16. So if you guys are excited for this tutorial, make sure to smash the like button down below, subscribe if you're new. And I would say I'll catch you guys, obviously, right after the intro. Alright guys, so now that we're in Vegas Pro 16, what we're gonna do is we need to create three text layers. So we're gonna start off by hitting the Media Generators tab and we're gonna scroll down until we see the Titles and Text one. We're gonna drag the default one on top of our video track. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna customize this. We're gonna use a different font. We're gonna give it a nice color. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna type in Amazing, obviously. Then what we need to do is highlight this and we're gonna just go ahead and pick a nice font. I have a nice font in mind, which is Bellow Script. I'm going to select that one. All right, which is kind of like a handwritten, painted, you know, related font. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give this a nice color, which is going to be red. So I'm going to hit this white bar and I'm going to change the color to red. So then what we need to do is close this out. And then what we need to do is animate this one. So I'm going to see how long it is going to be. So I'm going to make it a little bit shorter like that. So then what we need to do is go to the event pan crop icon of the text layer. So then we're going to hit mask at the bottom and we're going to select a nice square that's big enough next to our text. Then we're gonna place a keyframe around in the middle. And then what we need to do is select all the text as you can see like that. Okay, so now if I play it back, this is basically what it looks like. The text is just nice and animated. So now we need to just copy this, Control C, and then we're gonna press Control V and we're gonna place it on the video track on top of the first one. So then we need to count in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 frames. Then the second one is gonna start. Then I'm gonna click on the generated media tab. We're gonna give this another color. So I'm gonna highlight it and I'm gonna make this one yellow. So I'm gonna place it in this bottom right corner. Then it's gonna be yellow and then the, the next thing we need to do is create another video track copy and paste this again so now we need to time 10 more frames 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and align those all right so now that we have this one we need to give the last text layer the last different color so I'm going to click on the generated media icon and I'm going to make this one light blue so I'm going to do it like this boom like a nice blue color so now if I play it back this is what it looks like and that's basically how you can make like an awesome colorful text reveal effect in Vegas Pro. It is really, really simple. Let's pretend that we want to uh, not do this all over again, for example, in a new project. So what we can do then is give this one a background. So I'm gonna go to the Media Generators tab and I'm gonna click on Solid Color. And then we need to pick a color that's really different from all these three that we have right here. So let's go ahead and pick a nice green background. I'm gonna place it underneath it like that. But now that we have the green background, we need to just render this out. So then we will be able to remove the green background with the chroma key. So then I'm going to just select everything like that. File, render as. So then I'm going to just give this a name, for example, text reveal chroma key. Then I'm going to just hit 60 FPS and I'm gonna hit render. A few moments later. All right, so now that it's finished rendering, I just dragged in the trailer that you guys saw at the beginning of this video. Shout out to Production Crate, by the way. So now I'm gonna show you how you apply that. So right now I'm going to drag in the clip that we just rendered. Okay, so right here we have it. So first of all, always key, right click, properties, 
main connector ratio and disable resample checked. So then I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to remove the audio track because there is no audio. So then we're going to hit the uh, video effects tab and we're going to scroll down until we see the chroma key feature. We're going to drag on the default. So then what we need to do is uncheck it for a second and then we're going to pick the green background that we're going to recheck it. And as you can see, if I recheck it again, it has now a transparent background. You don't have to, you know, create these three layers yet. You don't need to mask it each time you want to use this effect. As you can see, the like that looks really, really nice. And that's basically how to use it, guys. This is how you use the chroma key feature. And then this is just the text reveal. You can also add in a fade out, for example, like that. So this is basically how to use it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys tomorrow in a brand new how to video as always on Tuesday. So I'll catch you guys obviously in my next video.